And then I watched the circle and I think the circle is really goofy because they are always talking in like... If you've never seen the circle before, they just get a bunch of people and it's like a popularity contest almost. And you go home with a bunch of money and you can go in as a catfish. But what matters is that you will never meet the person that you're talking to until the very end. You know, the circle reunion thing. It's really, really terrible. So everyone's going in and they're flirting with each other in DMs. And they're like, I don't know if I can trust you. You might be a catfish. And, and, and then the way that the type is like, hashtag baller, circle send message. Or like, that was so cringe, dancing emoji. Um, how about you do a, an emoji, the smiling one with a tongue sticking up like that. Yeah, that emoji. And then hashtag, hashtag, um, I don't know what to think. Circle send message. <laughs> they, they talk like. So where else will you find quality television if not reality television? Hashtag you are so Sigma. They usually hire a bunch of... I don't know. Would you call those people chronically online? They're definitely hiring a lot more influencers now because, you know, the only good seasons of reality television are always the first two seasons when no one knows what's going on and then after season two everyone knows what's happening and then they're like i have to be on that show so i can get some clout and then they start hiring influencers but i think the first two seasons are just just a bunch of normal people <laughs> then it falls off yeah i had I didn't know what to expect from future ultimatum seasons because season one was so messy. But after you watch the first season, and if you sign up to be on season two, it's kind of like, what's wrong with you? Did you not see how season one went? The only people that's signing up for it are people who are like, I don't know. It's just really messy. Do you really want to air out your, your relationship like that? Because the, the concept of um, ultimatum is that one person... There's like, you go on as a couple. One person in that couple wants to get married. The other person doesn't want to get married. And so the person that wants to get married is issuing an ultimatum, which is already a, a red flag. And they're like, okay, so we're going to go on a television show together and I am going to give you an ultimatum. And if you don't want to be with me um, by the end of this, then we will break up or we will get married at the end of this. Or, oh, third hidden option, you get together with the other person. <laughs> so they have a bunch of couples that one person is being issued an ultimatum and then they're like, okay, for two weeks, you will pair up with another person in this... I don't know. What is it? Like, like experiment? You will break up. You will temporarily break up with your partner. And then you will choose among this dating pool of other people here. And then you will see if maybe life is better elsewhere. Or if you really want to be with that person you came here with. And then what people end up doing is that for two weeks, they they decide that, oh my goodness, this is my, I get to cheat and um, get away with it card. And that's kind of exactly what happens. Is that some people get really into their new relationships and or they're, they're kind of miserable in it. And then they go back and then they get to spend one week with their original partner after having two weeks with another person and then they try and fix things, but sometimes the person either physically cheated or emotionally cheated on their partner. That they don't want to fix things when they have the week back with their original partner. And that is the entire basis of the reality television show. And it is incredibly messy. And it is my guilty pleasure because of how messy it is. <laughs> Reality television, we do a little bit of homeworking. I, it's crazy. This sounds awful. You can watch it on Netflix. There's, it's all messy. I've watched all of them. 
at 1.5 times speed. <laughs> if you like terrible, terrible, terrible reality television, there is one of them. Milf Manor was the worst. I only watched the clips of Milf Manor. I didn't actually watch Milf Manor. I don't know if I want to watch a bunch of MILFs get with like college aged boys. I'm assuming that's what it is. Because MILF Manor is like you go on with your mom and you date other moms. Yeah. <laughs> I... I don't know if I... I'm not really interested in watching that show! <laughs> but I've seen clips of it! I saw clips of that show that are really, really messy and they're so funny. But I don't know if I could actually seriously watch the entirety of, of that show. She already watched Milf Matter? Do you know she liked it?